I was jolted awake to find that the bed that I was sleeping on was moving across the room. It was dark, 6 a.m., and I had no idea what was going on. My five-year-old brain was terrified. I was holding onto the bed for the full minute that the earthquake lasted as it rolled across the room. My dresser went across the room, put a hole in the wall. My parents couldn't help. They tried, they kept getting knocked down. Later on, after the initial shock was over, we saw all sorts of damage in our house. Anything that could be broken was broken. The contents of the cupboards and the refrigerator had all gone onto the floor of the kitchen. At the time, there weren't really plastic bottles as much. So glass was shattered everywhere, honey, syrup, flour in the mixture, eggs. It was a, a complete mess. We didn't have power or water for, for weeks. And considering that and the issue with the kitchen, we ended up going to Red Cross shelters for our meals. At the Red Cross shelter, they had a television set up. And that was where I saw that there were hospital buildings that had collapsed, that an overpass for a freeway, freeways that we use all the time, had fallen onto another road. And that was even more terrifying, especially considering that there were aftershocks all the time. But I could look around and see all of the support of the charitable organizations, the kind neighbors, and really feel the impact they had. Together, we can make a huge difference. <laughs>